Morgan with a Vin Answer here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this 10 pound saddle sandbag. This is great to help with events, parties, even photography setups. So follow along as I show you how I made this. Let's get started. For this project, I used one yard of black duck canvas. This is a thicker and heavier weave of canvas that will be great for the sandbag. I also used one inch wide belting or strapping, and that will be used on the handle. And you, I also used two one gallon Ziploc bags, um, preferably a freezer bag, but regular zip bags work as well. Some tools that you'll need to make this project includes a sewing machine, a cutting mat, a sharp pair of fabric scissors or a roller cutter, and something to measure with. So the first step that we're going to do today is open up the fabric and lay it out flat. Um, and out of this we need to cut a rectangle that is 35 inches long by 11 inches wide. And this will allow us, give us seam allowances and have a finished size that will hold the right amount of sand. So I'm just gonna take a pencil here. If you have some fabric chalk, this is a great time to use it. Um, but a silver Sharpie or a pencil will also work in a pinch. My fabric was 60 inches wide, so I'm gonna be able to get at least three or four sandbags out of this one yard of fabric. I'm going to take a rotary cutter. You could also use a sharp pair of scissors for this, but the rotary cutter makes quick work out of this job. So I've sat down at the sewing machine and we're going to sew our first line. And for this project, you only have to know how to make straight lines. If you can go forward and backwards on a sewing machine, you'll be A-OK -okay on this project. So we're gonna start with the short end, the 11 inch end of our rectangle, and we're going to fold it over a half inch. This doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Um, if you would like, you can definitely press this. Um, I'm rather impatient, so I don't tend to do that, but um, that would make this a nice crisp line if you wanted. We're going to put it into our sewing machine and using a quarter inch seam allowance, make a straight line. And a quarter inch seam allowance is actually right up here against the uh, edge of my presser foot. Uh, usually you would use black thread or thread that matches whatever color you're using. For demonstration purposes, I'm using white so you can all see it. And flip it around and do the other side. With those first two seams done, we're going to take the edges that we just sewed with the flap and we're going to turn it over. This will be our outside material. Um, so you'll have your nice stitching on the outside of this. But for now, we want it to be on the inside for these next two seams. So take a measurement of your piece and find the center point. And you want to bring the two edges together so that they meet. I'm going to just put a couple pins right here at the end to hold these in place. Now that I've pinned this down, we're going to sew across one half of this, also using a quarter inch seam and going from end to end. Now, I know this seam is gonna take a lot of beading, so I'm actually going to go back a second time, just slightly out a little bit, and give it a second go. And there we go, we've got the two lines, and we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. Now that we have all the seams completed, we're gonna turn this right side out. So take a corner and start turning it inside out. And try and get your fingers into the corners and press them out so they're nice and sharp. We're gonna just do this on all four corners. And this will start making it look like the saddle bag. So we'll have two pouches. Now that this is complete, we're going to take that binding 
um, also called strapping. I'm gonna cut 14 inches of that for each sandbag. Once we have that belting, we're going to sew it to the underside of the bag. So we'll sew this to where our open seams are so that when it comes to the back side, the handle's free and clear. So now what I'll do is I'll get this about where I want it, pin it in place, and I'm going to do a square pattern on each seam and then follow that maybe with an X. For this project, I have switched the needle on my sewing machine to a denim needle so that it can get through all of this. Because not only do we have two layers of canvas, we're going to be sewing through two layers of the strapping as well. So we're gonna take it really slow on the sewing machine um, and make sure that there's a good needle in your sewing machine. So I'm gonna get this lined up and we'll head back to the sewing machine. All right, all the sewing is done at this point. The handle's attached and the pouches are made. The next step is to fill it with sand. This is where our Ziploc bags come in. I'm also gonna be utilizing a kitchen scale and a cup to use to put the sand into the bags. So I'm gonna start on one side. And I'm going to put the bag into our liner here. So I find that it's easier to fill it once it's already in there. You can totally fill the bag to the weight that you want and then stuff it inside, but I like this method a little bit better. To make this 10 pounds, I'm gonna put five pounds in each bag. Um, so we're gonna turn on the scale and see where we're at. All right, we've got five pounds of sand here. So I'm gonna push all the air out and zip up this side. Then just stuff the Ziploc bag on the inside and we're good to go. The saddle bag is done and ready for some hard work. I hope you really enjoyed this project. This was a lot of fun to put together and really practical when you're doing parties, events, photography, or even theater productions. Um, so I hope you found this inspirational. There's lots of ways you can take this. Um, if you'd like plans to this project, uh, check out my website in the link below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you'll know the next time I put together another project. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!